So this is my review of UFC 112. I'm going to go over uh, over the main card. Uh, let's just start start off with the uh, with the the co the co main events and the main events. Um, okay, let's start off with the Anderson Silva and Damian Maya uh, fight. Um, it was very interesting. Um, it was a it was a very good fight for the first one to three rounds. Um, Anderson was doing all types of crazy kicks, and he was, you know, there was no way Damian could even um, could even match uh, Anderson's speed, or you know, Anderson was doing all types of crazy movie type tricks and spinning kicks and axe kicks and just, there, I mean, it was he was hitting him at will, you know, dancing around, mocking him, just you know, he broke his nose, welting up his eye, and um, and then all of a sudden in the third. Halfway through the third round, Anderson just like just stopped. I don't know if he got tired um, or if he got hurt or what. But for the majority of the rest of the round of the rest of the uh, of the mat of the fight, you saw Anderson running around, running away from Damian. You know, maybe you know here and there throwing you know um, throwing a punch or so. But then you saw Damian Mai, He was really going you know balls to the walls pretty much trying to to get a win by you know slugging he was it was even at one point where he was on his knees punching you know trying to get that win that knockout hit um he tried to grab his leg do you know a knee bar leg bar you know uh, but it, it didn't fail and you know the crowd was booing and you know the commentary was pretty bad for 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 anderson they even said at one point that that dana um you know went over to ran over to um uh, to Anderson's um, uh, manager, you know, to to complain, and you know, he didn't look happy at all. So, um, the next fight for Anderson, even though he won unanimous a unanimous decision, um, his next fight is supposed to be against GSP at 170. So he's going all the way down to 170 to um, to to try to uh, to beat um, you know GSP, which he can't really play that type of game that he's playing with Damian with GSP. I believe uh, GSP is really going to press him. So that's how that fight went. Um, oh, his excuse that he said uh, for the reason why he, the way he fought and he was running away was um, he was unex he 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 was cut off guard by Damian's power and his punches and whatnot, and um, uh, and and he should have been a lot more humble. Instead of you know mocking him and doing all types of uh, crazy uh, antics that he was doing in the ring, so it won't happen again. And the next fight, you'll get you know a better a better uh, Anderson. So uh, that's that. So then we'll move on to the uh, BJ Penn and um, Frankie Edgar fight, which uh, was was also a very interesting fight. Um, I'm gonna try to be not, as non biased as I can because I'm a big BJ fan. So. Um, BJ Penn fan, so um, it, I believe that in the first couple of rounds, um, BJ definitely won. He won the first round. He won the second round. The third round could have went either way. Um, could have went either way. Um, the the fourth round, I believe BJ won. The fifth round, I believe um, Edgar won. Uh, but the judges, you know, they gave it. You know, fifty forty five. I think it was fifty forty five, um, forty eight, forty six, forty nine, and forty seven. You know, um, to to Edgar. You know, a, a unanimous decision, which is crazy. A unanimous decision. So you saying that 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 Edgar won all of those rounds? It, it just amazes me. How these guys, how, how these judges, they how they judge? Because there's no way that that Edgar won all of those rounds. But you know that's the way it goes. You know, uh, don't leave it in the hands of, hands of the judges. Um, BJ was really, you know, you know, using his boxing in the first two. But the the one thing that I can't say about Frankie Edgar is that his um, his boxing skill. I mean, not just boxing skills, but his just his his energy he i mean your eyes will start to hurt how much he moves around and how much he's fainting and how much he's you know how he's how he's always on the on on the balls of his um of his toes you know it's just this guy bounces around like a frog you know so um you know this he just had so much so much energy and it it 
and I don't want to say BJ's conditioning was out of out of tact. It was just that this guy Edgar is just uh, you know crazy with how much um, how much how, what his condition is and, and moving at that pace. He's moving at uh, extremely I mean extremely fast pace for all five rounds. Even though he lost the first two rounds, in my opinion, and possibly he lost the fourth round. You know, he did lose the fourth round. I mean. Uh, I, I just he just moved at, a, at at the same speed the whole entire match, and you know he won the unanimous sit, yeah, unanimous decision, which um, I, I really disagree to. So um, hopefully uh, BJ will get another shot at the at the title, and um, we can go from there. But I know uh, Kenny Florian is happy, right? So so because he finally gets a shot at actually beating um, becoming champion if BJ doesn't get a, a rematch. So, okay, so the Hughes um, and Renzo Gracie, um, I kind of went into it kind of knowing that um, Matt Hughes was going to win against, uh, against Gracie, Renzo Gracie. Um, uh, Hughes won by, um, by TKO, he, by, by strikes pretty much. Um, it, was, it, was, it was, you know, I was kind of surprised because Gracie didn't try to take it to the ground at all. He just, he, he boxed. You know, he he pretty much tried to do the Frankie Edgar, but the, the, the whole thing was that he didn't have the um, conditioning for it. He tired out pretty, pretty bad. I mean, it was, and plus, Hughes was, la well, was landing these huge leg kicks. I mean, he was snapping back on the kick, so um, he lost, you know, he was his leg was swelled up, and he couldn't really, he was getting to the point where he, I think it was in the, um, in, in the third round where he was getting kicked at will, he was getting kicked at will, you know, just, just hit, 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 and falling down from one hit to, to the leg. And then, you know, Hughes finished him off with the strikes. But he was just dead tired, uh, Renzo was. So uh, that fight went that way, and I have no idea what's next for, uh, for Hughes, who he can fight, because I still think that he's not um, in the, you know, in condition to fight, you know, the top ten guys or, you know, I'm not gonna say top ten because he may be in the top ten, but he's not at that at that you know go for the title title contention uh, fight type of fighters. He's he's still slow and he's just not the same Matt Hughes. Um, he 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 doesn't you know the ground and pound days. I haven't seen him do that in a while. You know even when he fought Matt Serra. So um, that's that. And Renzo. Um, you know, he probably needs to start a little bit lower down instead of just fighting Matt Hughes or whatnot um, and get his conditioning up a lot because that's where he really felt Because he was really tagging Matt Hughes the first couple of rounds. He, he was really hitting him. So that's that. Uh, so then we move on to uh, Kendall Grove and Mark Munez, Menzo. Um, I was surprised by that because Men Menzo won. He actually, you know, at first he was losing by the... You know, he got caught in a couple of um, arm bars and all this other stuff, and and then he just, you know, he pulled out that win. Um, he he caught caught uh, Kendall Grove with some big heavy hits, you know, and um, and he went down, and Kendall went down, and, he, and then he caught him, and it looked like he caught him, but he was Kendall was still um, defending himself, but um, but but then he got to a point to where he was kept getting hit on the temple. When he was on the ground over and over again, and you know you can't have that, and the ref is going to jump in and stop that. But you know I think he was pretty much done. Um, he was pretty knocked out, and uh, Menzo acted like he uh, he he must have he must have thought he was really happy. He was really happy, like he didn't know that he was going to win that fight. But you know I have to hand it off to him. He did a really good uh really good job. And then uh, we have Terry Intim and uh, Rafael uh, Dos Antos, and um, that was a really good fight too, because um, um, you know that uh, Dos Santos almost lost that fight because he got caught in a in a really tight guillotine. I mean, a really tight guillotine. You, when you watch the replay on it, you can actually see his like his eyeballs like bulging out of his head, and his eyes were turning red and whatnot. So uh, he was really really close, but he stood it out. You know, he stayed at that 90, you know, 90 degree angle, you know, and, 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 and what happened was, um, you know, Terry Enum, his, his, his energy, his arms were so tired for holding that guillotine for like 
two to two minutes, two minutes, three minutes straight, that um, he got caught in a um, and, and and by he got caught in an arm bar in the second round. So uh, he got caught with an arm bar in the second round, and um, he tried to roll out of it, but um, it was no good. He uh, pretty much. Um, you know, rolled out and it was already it was already locked locked in too deep. So uh, that's what happened. But you know, that's 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 what happens. You know. So um, that's uh, my review of um, UFC 112. Um, I'm gonna do a review of of all of UFCs um, from this point on. So.